Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell and helping me get to 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have my November Fruit for Thought subscription. This is a really cool, unique concept in the subscription box world because each month is themed around a different fruit or food or flavor or a combination of a couple of them. It is $39.99 per month plus $5.95 in shipping, which I think is a pretty good deal on shipping these days. If you're interested in subscribing, you can save 10% using my code, which is Noelle10. And of course, I will leave all of that for you guys in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get into this month that was sent to me for review by Pam. So thank you again, Pam. It comes in this nice, Simple white box. The shipping label is right on top and we're going to go inside and that's where the presentation really begins with this lovely tissue paper. Now I personally am not a huge fan of fig. The theme for this month is honey fig but I do love the color of fig. I think it's so pretty that deep deep purple color. So I'm hoping that we have things that are more themed around the colors or maybe more around the honey than necessarily fig. Although I have to admit I grew up eating fig Newtons and so I kind of have a, a soft spot in my heart for Fig Newtons just because I feel like it was like considered the healthy cookie alternative when I was a kid. So right on top we have our little product card that does tell us again about the theme and I think it usually tells us what the next theme is. So the December theme you guys which you would be subscribing for is cranberry gingerbread which sounds so great to me. I personally love gingerbread. Let me know in the comments below if you are a fan of gingerbread or what your favorite like holiday flavor is. I know a lot of you are still in pumpkin spice mode. I know some of us love peppermint. I love chocolate and peppermint together um, but cranberry gingerbread sounds awesome so let's go ahead and see on the back it just tells us a little bit about the item she does not include the retail values but you are always at least getting what you paid for uh, with this box and sometimes a little bit over value wise so right inside I'm just seeing some foozles and then all of the goodies kind of nestled inside but the one that's kind of poking and peeking out the most is this cute little like takeout box so let me see if I can get into this without too much damage. I always need to remember to get my scissors out and have them handy and it looks like they were just kind of hiding under the little microfiber that I keep keep, keep beside me so that I can dust off any foozle dust or paper shred dust. I know some of you guys don't like the word foozles. Um, so this is super cute though. It says you're the bee's knees on the front and I love all of the black and white. So and of course the bright pop of yellow. So this is definitely more on the honey side of this month's theme. It's got this adorable handle and it's even got a little like to and from gift tag if you wanted to re-gift this and it looks like I think it's like little hand towels so let me see if I can um, untie this nicely of course I'll have to tie it all back up so I can take some photos but it says this is bees knees by design imports it's a takeout gift box so cute and filled with three dishcloths which you can never have enough of so I'm just gonna pull those out so how cute are those you guys it looks like they have a nice little like kind of waffle knit to them they feel pretty soft. This striped one has like a different texture slightly and I think that's really really pretty so depends on what your kitchen looks like but these are a nice size. I love this striped one actually. I think it'll go really nicely in my kitchen and I, I don't mind having like a dark colored one as well because obviously dishcloths get so dirty so quickly. So this is a really cute item and of course if it doesn't necessarily fit in your kitchen or you feel like you do have enough dishcloths it's so cute and easy to re-gift. It even has that little gift tag on it so I think that is adorable and I like that item a lot as a starter so the next thing I'm seeing is a little notepad that just has a B that says kind underneath, which I think is, of course, a great message. And I love all the stuff that has little like, bees on it. I think bees are really important to our environment. And it just looks like this is by Primitives by Kathy, which is a brand that she uses a lot in this subscription. A lot of the times it's really like kind of cutesy stuff. Um, but this is actually useful because it does have a magnet on the back. So you can make your lists and put them right on your fridge. Some of you guys know from watching my 
unboxings though I tend not to put a lot of magnets on my fridge because it has a very scratchable surface but I love having notepads it's always great and I like this nice long one that's very much in list form so let's see if it says anything extra about that it says you can never have enough notepads I completely agree primitives by Kathy magnetic notepad will hang on your refrigerator and remind you that you are kind with a cute honeybee design so I like that she's saying it reminds us that we are kind as well as to be kind so it is important to be kind to yourself too oh my gosh you guys I'm not gonna be able to pull all of these out but there are a bunch of candies kind of nestled in here so I'll definitely show you how many I there's like a bunch in here so let me just get a couple of foozles off there's all these little bit of honey um, little candies which I think I've had like way back in the day like sometimes it made it into trick-or-treat bags and stuff but I don't think I've had one of these in a really long time so let me see if it's, it says bit of, ha bit of honey candy consists of almond bits embedded in a honey flavored taffy for delicious long chewing candy I love chewy candies and this sounds like something that I will totally enjoy and hopefully I don't go through them all in one sitting but it's like one of those things that like I like to have chewy candies when I'm like reading and kind of like give myself that little treat like every chapter or every number of pages and then I find like I've eaten all of them so I'll have to like spread these out a little bit more but of course I would also love just to having like a couple of hours to get into a good book so um, let me know if you've had those candies before and if you enjoy them and then I love this this so far is a very like honey heavy uh, box not too much on the fig side except for the tissue paper so far so this says it is honey honey um, company wildflower honey so it's in the cute little traditional bear jar which I think is adorable we've getting been getting a lot of honey actually in different boxes and I'm not mad about it because it is finally tea season you guys know I have a ton of tea also from subscription boxes so I love that little bit of sweetness in my tea just a little hint of it is so delicious or even just on like toast like if you do um, like just some butter and then a tiny drizzle of honey or even honey on some like really good cheese is so good or even honey if have you ever tried honey on a grilled cheese that is delicious because that is like my favorite sweet and savory kind of combination so let's see what it says about this guy I don't see the honey on here quite yet I'm sure it's on here though so I'll have to find it or maybe it's just a little extra which would be really really cool but let's see the next thing I'm seeing is some nail polish this is cool and there was like a little uh little card in here so i knew this was coming so this is by kb shimmer it says nail polish application instructions oh we have to have instructions for it oh so it's just telling us how to paint your nails like i used to do my nails myself now it's kind of my treat to get to go to a salon but of course here in california our salons are closed except for outdoor service again so i might have to go back to doing my own nails but yes start in the middle and then go out to the edges but let's see what it says about this and the color is beautiful and it is not fig flavored but kind of fig colored and I'm totally into it. It says perfect color for winter. KB Shimmers forget about it. That is super cute. Fig colored burgundy nail polish is holographic and perfect in two coats. I love holographic nail polish. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys will be able to see but there is a bit of shimmer and the holographic part is just because when you like move your nails in the sunlight man it really shines. It's so so cool. I I love this color this is totally a color that I would pick out at the salon so I'm very very happy to have this and give this a try so great great winter color awesome very excited and then let's see what else we've got this is a good box like I said I was a little bit nervous because I'm not a huge fan of figs all right we got a honey and fig we got both of the flavors in one item uh, it's by Bali and Fritz chill pill it's a moisturizing bath fizzy aka bath bomb which you guys know I'm not a big fan of bath bombs because I don't take baths I take showers but I have started using some of them as shower steamers because I have a cute little tray so this is really cute packaging though I think this is adorable I like this tissue paper I like the little bow and you guys know that I also tend to regift a lot of my bath bombs so this is already perfect for that let's see what it says about this 
Use your Bali and Fritz sweet and fruity honey and fig scented chill pill bath bomb made with moisturizing sweet almond oil for a soft and luxurious addition to your bath. So that is very nice. Another nice item. Looks like we've still got some more. So this is cool. It just says Best Buy July 2022. So I've got some time to use it up. But it is a little jar by Eat This, I think is the brand. It's a Fig Meyer Lemon Honey Preserve. That actually sounds really, really good. So again, we've got both of those flavors combined in there with a little bit of citrus, with some honey, uh, with some lemon in there. So that sounds cool. So maybe you guys can see it from the bottom a little bit more. Nice, like rich color. It says, recently featured on The View, Earth is Yum Fig, Meyer Lemon and Honey Jam is made with slightly roasted fresh black mission figs with honey and cooked with sliced Meyer lemons. That sounds really good. A touch of balsamic vinegar and sea salt are added for a full bodied flavor. So again, the reason I don't tend to like figs is sometimes the texture, sometimes it's a little grit gritty to me, but also it's just so sweet. So the fact that they're like gonna cut that with some lemon and then balsamic sounds perfect to me. It says delicious served with goat cheese or sharp cheddar Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about. It would probably be great on a grilled cheese, great on a panini or flatbread. So she's absolutely picking up what I'm putting down here. So I think this would be a great thing to have on a nice crusty bread. That sounds delicious and I'm totally game to try. And again, it's a nice smaller jar. So you get just a taste of it and see if you like it. And of course you can always find it again if you'd like because she's always included the names of the companies that provide them. So I think we've got one more treat which is really fun there's always like edible treats in fruit for thought which is one of the reasons i love this subscription and here we go flashback from my childhood we've got some fig newtons which you guys are you already told you i do have a soft spot for them i used to like tend to like eat around the edges and eat all the like bread off and then eat the like fig part in the middle last i know i was like weird it was like doing what you do with oreo cookies with fig newtons but i do really love them it's just like a little snack pack great to have in your purse um, I probably won't even make it to my purse I'll probably have it as like a little treat in the afternoon so it just says toss Newton soft and chewy fig cookies in your purse or lunchbox for a satisfying snack absolutely and I'm very happy to have that so overall you guys this was an awesome box from fruit for thought sometimes there's like one or two items that i feel like i won't really use i mean that's kind of the case with the bath bomb but i've gotten so used to being able to send my bath bombs to friends and family that absolutely will enjoy them i don't mind getting that and i know a lot of you guys love getting bath bombs in your subscription boxes as well but i'm super stoked on that nail polish color i think it is beautiful um i didn't actually see this little like honey bear on there so i think that was just a cute little extra that she included which is awesome i love little extra treats like that I think that this uh, preserve actually sounds amazing despite that it's made out of figs just because it's got so many other contrasting complementary flavors in there and then of course I do think that little uh, dish towel set was adorable especially just because of the packaging and you guys know that I'm a sucker for cute and adorable and thoughtful and clever packaging let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in this fruit for thought and if you enjoyed this video you guys please do give it a thumbs up it does help my channel up out a lot and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing